As a parent of a medically complex child or a child with severe disabilities, you probably have a lot of decisions to make. And that can be a real emotional strain and you've probably found yourself asking, what should I do? Making decisions is hard. You might have to make decisions about medication changes, about surgical procedures, or educational or therapeutic services. And having to make so many serious, life-changing decisions can be paralyzing, but not making a decision is also a decision. So how can you feel confident in your ability to make choices and find peace in your decisions without having to constantly second-guess yourself? So we are going to go through some five questions that you can ask yourself because using a simple framework might help. So question number one, is the decision urgent? If the answer is yes, consult with your spouse or an other trusted adult and make a decision. So at this point, what we're talking about is having a team in place that you can consult. That could be your spouse, a trusted friend, other family members, also professionals like doctors, social workers, teachers, somebody else on your child's educational team. They can all be there at the ready to consult when you need to make a decision. If this is not an urgent decision, then we're gonna to proceed to the next step. So question two, do I have enough information to make a decision right now? If the answer is yes, then it's time to go and consult that team that you already have ready to ask questions. If the answer is no, then it's time to do research, gather data, talk with medical professionals and teachers, maybe look at some online support groups and see if you can find other people who've had to make similar decisions and what they did. Third question is, how does this treatment option or decision I'm making impact my child's development or overall health? This might be a good time to take out a big piece of paper and write down your pros and your cons for what you're deciding. The idea here is not to edit or evaluate your thoughts, but just to write down whatever comes because this can help quiet the mental noise and the emotions surrounding the decision in question. Another question is, how does this choice align with our values as a family? How will this decision impact other family members and their needs? Think about siblings that your child might have, or maybe you're also caring for an elderly parent. And how is this decision going to impact other people that you have to care for? And then finally, does your child have an opinion in the matter? Now, I know not all kids can have an opinion. They might not be verbal. They might not understand what's going on. But if your child does have the ability to, to tell you what they think, it's important to ask them. So our four final takeaways before we end here is having a decision-making framework in place ahead of time can really ease the process. Surround yourself with people that you trust. Have that team in place so that when you need to make a decision, you know who you can go to. Be gentle with yourself. You are doing your best and you cannot be expected to do better than your best. You really are doing everything that you can. Remember that a decision made in love is never a mistake. You are always doing this from a place of love. You are doing your best to take care of your child.